um, some of them uh, aren't as affected um, as much. And so our, our only um, point was that we really wanted to make sure that we are uh, being proactive in the way we manage. I mean, our services are geared more towards proactive advice anyways. Um, but practically how we do that is we actually review our client list every single week um, and make sure that, you know, in the past two weeks, have we at least made contact with those clients and initiated that contact um, to make sure that, first of all, that they're coping okay, um, because there's obviously a significant uh, mental uh, stress factor that, you know, clients are going through and then really making sure that they're aware of all the incentives that are out there. Uh, there's a range of incentives and a lot of confusion around what incentives are actually applicable, um, how do I work out the amounts, all those sort of things. So I think clients have, we've noticed clients have really felt quite lost in the detail and really needed someone to explain that to them. Uh, so, so that's really uh, how we've approached those calls is to explain it, see how they're going uh, and to, if necessary, then schedule a more regular contact with them. So in terms of how we've also done that, we've really, given that we're all working from home, um, we've used a mix of phone calls and Zoom meetings. I mean, Zoom has been amazing to uh, help uh, manage that. We can have six or seven people or however many in a meeting, uh, share screens, um, which uh, still allows us to cover off on a lot of the meeting infrastructure and the reporting that we had done prior to uh, all the COVID-19 uh, changes. Thank you.